Hey everyone, welcome back into Mountain Dog Companion. Hanging out with Berta and Benny's litter here. Doing great, uh, they're about five weeks and a couple days old. Uh, phenomenal bunch, they're very fun, very outgoing and playful. Um, it's an exciting group and we're having a good time here um, on this beautiful sunny summer day. Um, really these guys are enjoying the weather outside, uh, outside and really uh, just starting to interact a little bit more, gain some mobility. Um, and having a little bit more fun and with interactivity. So beautiful bunch, really excited for the litter um, and just really, you know, an interesting group. Um, and we're going to go through, talk about each one, give everyone a good feel for each puppy and talk about their personalities a little bit. So um, really a fun group again. Uh, unfortunately, we're low on the boys, so they're getting they're getting bullied by all the girls in the litter. There's only two boys. Um, there are six girls in the litter, so I feel bad for the guys, but it'll be fine. Uh, Jake and Jasper are doing great, um, and we'll just kind of get started. We got the two boys up front here, um, and I'll start uh, start things out with Mr. Jasper here. Uh, Jasper, he is the smallest one in the litter uh, by quite a quite a decent margin. Um, but he is doing great from a health standpoint. He's a phenomenal guy. He's very chill. Most times in the past where I've seen, you know, a puppy being uh, quite a bit smaller like he is um, in general, um, I've seen them have a little bit more spunk and have a little bit more um, get, in, you know, get up in their step um, just because they need a little bit more to keep up. But he seems to be very chill, very mellow, um, a little bit more relaxed and laid back. Um, and I'd say almost the most chill in the litter um, in general. So, um, but very stunning little guy. Um, again, that's Jasper. Now we'll move on to Jake. Um, and he's like by quite a far uh, margin here. Um, he is more outgoing, more playful, more spontaneous, uh, definitely a little bit bigger and definitely just, that's more having a good time. He's very uh, fun to be around. He loves his people, loves being held. Um, so a big difference there between the two. So, uh, and we'll keep on rolling here with uh, moving right on with the girls here. Um, six girls are hard to uh, kind of keep apart here, and it's a little bit more difficult to keep track of who's who. So, uh, starting things off, we got Miss Dory here. She is one of the bigger girls. Um, a heavy, heavy set and structure. Like she's very. Uh, solid in like as far as her her confirmation like she's a very heavy build um, loving her back scratches right now <laughs> and uh, for her what do you think early uh, for Dory she is more kind of on the medium slash chill side uh, definitely leaning more on that chill more content um, easygoing side of things so um, she loves her people she'll sit and take everything in um, she's more content um, but she does have, uh, she does have uh, a nice spontaneous and more like kind of inquisitive personality. So just kind of checking things out and getting to know um, everything around her. So um, really a wonderful girl there. Again, that story. And then moving on, we got Daisy. Now Daisy is right in the middle of the group, um, if not a little bit more on that smaller side. And she is um, a little bit more on that spunky, kind of spontaneous side, um, but definitely kind of has a happy medium. Like she is, she's kind of got both. So she loves being held, she'll chill out, she'll kind of sink into your lap, um, and she'll look for that attention. But at the same time, she can be a little goofball. So <laughs> very, very fun girl there. Um, and again, that's Daisy. Um, so that'll kind of round things out for the first four that we're talking about, and then we'll get into the four remaining girls in the litter um, here in a little bit. Okay, moving on, we woke these guys up from their nap, uh, so they're not sure what's going on. Um, the other guys are starting to settle in, and they'll probably be asleep here in a matter of about 20 seconds, so uh, these guys sleep so much in a day, it's crazy. Um, but we'll go through, talk about each one, um, and kind of do the same thing. Um, as we did for the first four. So starting things off with Danny. Uh, Danny here, she's one of the bigger girls as well. She's got one little Swiss kiss up top. 
Uh, beautiful structure and confirmation. She's a very heavy set girl. Um, and she seems to be more on that laid back, a little bit more chilled outside, uh, kind of more of a calmer personality. Oh, easy there. I didn't mean to scare you. Oh, what's going on? Yeah, it's all good. Good girl. Um, but a little bit more on that chill, more relaxed, laid back side. Um, so that's Danny for you. Um, we'll keep on rolling here with the little spontaneous outgoing one. Um, this is Miss Dolly. Um, and like I said, a little bit more spontaneous, outgoing, a little bit more confident and playful. Um, and uh, right now, I mean, we just booked these guys up, so give them a little bit of time, but uh, she's, she's definitely more kind of leaning towards that fun, playful side, um, a little bit higher on the energy levels um, and a little bit more kind of um, adventurous and, and playful. So um, then we'll keep on rolling. These guys are just gonna stay here and sleep in the shade. So can't really blame them, honestly. Um, Next up, we got Dottie. She's up front here. Um, I'd say she's the biggest girl. Let me show you here. Oh, or the biggest fluff ball, I guess. Um, she has a very short stature, short and stocky. And she just wants to flop right back down. But believe it or not, uh, with her wanting to take a nap right now, she's one of the more playful girls, one of the more outgoing and fun girls. Um, I would say if not the most like confident and outgoing girls in the litter. Um, so again, that's Dottie um, and love her confirmation and structure as well. She's, she's got a really nice stature to her um, and just a, a beautiful group. So um, moving on, seeing if um, I can grab one more here, Dasha. Um, okay, so we finally found Dasha. So um, she is kind of right in the middle of the road. So she'll have a good time. She kind of has two sides to her. Uh, one's being spontaneous and outgoing and she'll have a good time. She'll kind of follow along with the litter, uh, keep up with her litter mate. She's not a leader, um, but she's also not, you know, one to just, you know, veer off and do her own thing. But at the same time, when you pick her up, um, she, she loves her human attention. She's definitely, you know, loves being held, loves being picked up, um, loves being cuddled. So kind of that right in the middle, happy medium, kind of showing off uh, those two sides. So really a nice girl. Um, and starting things off uh, with these guys, coming through the weaning process um, has been really good. They just kind of, kind of closing through that process. And it's really just kind of coming through. And they seem to be catching on very well. Um, they're doing great switching to dry food. Um, it normally takes about a week and a half, so it's been a process, but these guys are catching on. They're growing like weeds. It's, it's crazy um, how fast they grow and how quickly they kind of develop. And so really a fun bunch to kind of keep up with. So if anyone has any questions about this litter or about availability, uh, feel free to reach out to me. Of course, my name is Jay Miller here at Mountain Dog Companion. My number is 330-234-0102. Thanks for tuning in today, guys, and we'll see you next time.